Companies and governments alike are evaluating how they can reduce the impact on the environment. And critically important to many of these initiatives is the reduction of carbon output and decarbonisation is a key pillar of the Paris Climate Accords. Speaking against the backdrop of the Joburg mining in Daba, could you give me some insights on Deloitte's new global report, which obviously describes the steps energy companies can take to achieve decarbonisation by 2050 and show progress as early as 2030? So sure, look, I mean, it's a report we released it just the other day. Um, it talks to uh, the drivers of, of, of decarbonization and what's, what's driving companies to decarbonize. It talks to some of the, the things that companies can do um, and some of the alternatives and some of the, the challenges that they face. And it takes a, it, it has a specific, it has a chapter on each, each sector. So there's a chapter on oil and gas, a chapter on chemicals, chapter on mining, chapter on uh, on energy um, so it's, it's 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 quite a comprehensive overview of the of the decarbonization landscape um, and some some of the things that companies need to think about um, going into 2030 the report examines the unique opportunities and challenges that decarbonization brings to the four sectors namely oil and gas chemicals power utilities renewables as well as mining and metals what are some of the most significant drivers for the mining and metals sector and which of these drivers are actually in the sector's control? So, I mean, we, pro I mean, we produce reports all the time and we try to produce reports that are useful to our clients um, and that will give them information that's helpful. And we, we identified, um, you know, sort of late last year that the future of energy was going to be the big theme of this year. I mean, as you know, particularly in the mining industry, we, we track the trends in, in the mining industry. We publish a report every year where we, uh, where we discuss the top 10, top 10 trends in mining. And, you know, as we've been thinking about next year's report, and we're starting to, to, to work on that now, it was quite clear that future of energy was going to be one of them. And so we chose that as a theme for this year, wrote the report, um, and it was our theme at, at Joburg and Darbin. It'll probably be our theme for some of the events uh, coming up. What are some of the, the top drivers of decarbonisation and the increasing drive to a greener future? I mean, we, we briefly touched on it being customer intensive and an intention from investors, but is there anything else you'd like to, to highlight for us? I mean, and what are some of the, the practical considerations that need to be taken into account? So the drivers, the drivers for my, the mining industry are pretty much the same as the drivers for, for the other industries, in that it's it's become a consumer issue. You know, the the uh, society has kind of woken up to the climate change issue, um, and so customers are very aware of the carbon footprint of the products that they consume, and we are a carbon a reasonably carbon intense industry. Um, likewise, investors have picked it up, um, and, and you know there are there are a number. Of of um, of investors, high profile investors who who've identified their intention to not to invest in in carbon unfriendly industries, uh, and when you have investors being reluctant to invest, uh, your cost of capital goes up. So there are very very real reasons why it's important for all industries to do this. Um, you know, I think mining has a particular issue in that, you know, we we start off by making a reasonably negative impact on, on, on society. You know, we created a big negative uh, environmental impact. We create a big negative, negative social impact. So as it is, there's a focus on the mining industry to sort of make up that deficit, not to mention you know, doing the right thing and actually carrying the, carrying the issue forward as, as responsible citizens.